Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel here today guys for match day 5 in La Liga as Barca will face a trip to Cadiz and of course this comes off the back of hitting five in the Champions League in midweek. Barca ran rampant against Victoria Pilsen, Robert Lewandowski with a hat-trick. But the big question is, ahead of Bayern Munich next week, what sort of team is Xavi going to go with here? Are we going to see again rotations? Are we going to see different players involved? Or are we going to set up strong? We are going to be discussing the entirety of the game ahead of us and breaking it all down. So sit back, guys. Enjoy this feeling right now. We are all feeling very, very good. Long may that continue. And let's do this. Because in what is a pretty quick turnaround from Wednesday's match, Barca will travel on Saturday evening to Estadio Nuevo Mirandia at 6.30pm local time there. And this one, I think it is a big game. I think it's a very intriguing game. Because when you're looking at the La Liga table, Barca right now, of course, just behind Real Madrid. Real are the only team in the league right now who still have a 100% record. And quite clearly... We can't afford to make mistakes here. We can't afford to slip up any further at this stage of the season. Villarreal looking very, very strong. Betis have been good. And Atletico Madrid right down there in seventh after four matches played. And I think when you're looking at Cadiz, we're going to talk about their form in just a moment. But last season... We had our struggles against them. We had a real problems against Caddy. And it's almost a very similar kind of feeling to what I had heading into the Rio game. Whereby last season, we did not get the points we needed. That was the slip-ups that really cost us in the title race. So we can't afford to do that again. We cannot afford to make mistakes in these kinds of games. But Cadiz this season... They had a bad start. There's no getting around that, guys, because when you're looking at the table from their end, well, they're right at the bottom. They are bottom of the league right now. Four games, four losses, no points, no goals scored, and they conceded 10. I mean, as starts to the season go, I don't think it really gets any worse than that. And I think even more so now for Cadiz when they're looking at what they're facing, when they're looking at the Barcelona team that are arriving at their stadium on Saturday, we are firing on all cylinders right now. Doesn't matter who we're playing, doesn't matter where we're playing, we're scoring goals. Whether it's three, whether it's four, whether it's five, as we saw in midweek, we are ready to take on any opposition. And the only thing that can really stop us here, I feel, is overconfidence. So let's focus on the job, get it done, and take care of business. And I do think, guys, along with, you know, the match itself and along with getting valuable points in La Liga, the other thing that you have to think about coming into this game that I alluded to it in the intro, of course, we're already thinking about Bayern. Of course, this game is very important. You have to take it game by game. You always hear, you know, coaches say that and you do. But at the same time, it's impossible not to think ahead to next Tuesday. And just to think here... Well, what's the team going to be then? Because on Wednesday against Victoria Pilsen, it was a risk for Xavi to do it, but he rotated. And it worked out very well. You know, we were able to rest plenty of key players and at the same time still score five goals at the cap now. Still notch five in the Champions League. But what are we going to do this weekend? You know, I think it's a decent gap there between Saturday and then Tuesday. That's not too much of a quick turnaround there to sort of play a lot of your key players. I think what we have to do here is sort of find our rhythm, make sure we keep up that high standard, make sure we keep the confidence going, because what you don't want to do here is sort of rotate again, overdo it, and then slip up in this game. And suddenly then morale takes a hit. What we want to do here is carry on that confidence, get another win under our belt, score plenty more goals, and head to Bayern on Tuesday, ready to go. Feeling good. And honestly, just keep this momentum going. Because when you are looking at the squad list here, the players that Xavi has to choose from this weekend, he very much has a full squad to choose from there. Hector Bellerin and Marcos Alonso, the two new signings there, brought in, of course, on deadline day. They are in the squad for the very first time. And it's also nice to see, once again, just like in midweek, Pablo Torre. He has been included there in the squad list to face Caddy. Good to see him there with the rest of the group. And when you're looking at that start, 
starting lineup. Obviously, it's going to be Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Then at left back, I think Xavi's got a big decision because obviously Balde was rested in midweek. Now you've got Alonso as well to add to that. Alba started against Pilsen. What's he going to do in this game? For me, I think Balde, he's going to come back in. He is the man right now who's really proving himself in that left back spot. At right back, there is no Sergio Roberto. He misses out in this one with a bit of discomfort that he suffered against Pilsen. So then you've got the question of, is it going to be Kunde at right back again? Or is it going to be Hector Berry? Now, I think this will be maybe not the kind of game to throw him into from the start away at Caddy. It's not the sort of ideal way, I would say, to throw him into the action. So I would personally be starting Kunde on that side, but I would certainly bring Bear in on if we are ahead and doing well in this game. I think at centre-back then, you've got Eric Garcia, very likely to come back in, I feel, alongside Araujo. Start there with a solid defence, because what you don't want to do is concede an early goal against Caddy, lose that focus, and then, you know, you're battling against it. We want to have a solid base there, foundation to build from, because I think in midfield, Sergio Busquets there, very likely to return, got himself a bit of rest in midweek. I think one player who is going to get some rest and needs it, in my opinion, it's Pedri, because he is one of those players that you really do have to take care of. He's such a key player, and for sure, if he doesn't play, we're going to miss him. You're going to miss that kind of contribution from midfield, and somebody needs to step up, but we've got to look after Pedri, and Xavi admitted that he could get some rest in this game. I think Gavi is likely to come back into that midfield as a starter, so the question then would be, do you start Frankie de Jong, or do you start the goal scorer from the last game, Franck Kessier there, good first goal in Barcelona colours for him, finding his feet now, and which of those two, that's what I want to know, would you have in your midfield in this one? Because as we do move on then to the front three, this is when it starts to get quite interesting for me because I think Rafinha, he's sure to return to the starting lineup. He got enough rest there in the midweek game against Pilsen. He's going to be back in there and ready to go. I also think Dembele, he's going to start again, probably, although maybe Xavi would feel that this time would be a time to rotate him, but he was so brilliant against Pilsen. You'd want to keep him in the team. And the same there for Robert Lewandowski. Of course, many people saying, you know, would this be a time to rest him? But I think he wants to be playing. He wants to be playing and he wants to keep scoring but what I would say is if we're leading in the game you know going into the second half if we're comfortable then I'd probably look to bring all three of them off then you can bring on Ansu you can bring on Ferran Torres he scored an important goal for him against Pilsen and I could bring on Memphis Depay as well so there's options there I think we need to start the game strong keep that confidence going hopefully get a lead and then you can take players off. Then you can start thinking about Bayern once we've got ourselves ahead in the game. Because this right here is what you guys are thinking coming into this one. These are the predictions. And I've got to say, guys, I couldn't resist putting there that five plus goals option. You know, the way we've been playing, the way we've been scoring, I just had to do it. And many of you guys thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to go with. Five plus goals. Imagine that there. That could happen. Passa right now, you would not bet against it. But I just think here, we've got to take the game as it comes. Cadiz have proved difficult for us in recent seasons. First and foremost, get the win. Make sure we don't pick up any injuries. You know, make sure we don't overplay players and then get ready with the three points in the bag to take on Bayern. Please do let me know, guys, how you would line up. That's a big question here. And what you're expecting from this weekend. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're enjoying the form that this team is showing right now. I will see you after the game for full reaction, of course. I'll look forward to that, and hopefully again, it's a great match review. Thank you for watching, but until next time, as always, Vishka, El Basa.